Good morning. So yeah, although I love summer, the snow was a nice surprise. But there was just one problem. My van still had summer tires on, meaning not suitable for driving on ice and snow. So yes, we were stuck at the cottage. But boy, did I really know that that would be the case, as normally this first snow melts away quickly? I was 99.9% .9 sure that it will do. Whoa. Oh my god. Really? Wow, just look. This is crazy. Look at the van. Whoa, that's deep. Look at this. <laughs> And now what I need to do is to shovel all this the driveway and after the gate as well. Oh my god, oh my god, can you believe it? The neighbor, he cleaned my driveway. All of it. All of it. Look. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you. Should all the acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should all the acquaintance be forgot and days of old sign For old lang sign, my dear, for old lang sign. Talk a cup of kindness yet for days of long sign. And yeah, it keeps falling still at a very steady pace. And I don't think there will be any grass visible any soon. So I guess I'm stuck, pleasantly stuck, I would say, because this gives me opportunity to spend more time with myself and Snoopy and doing some awesome art projects. So this is my reality currently. And it talks to me through what's happening in my reality. And so I interpret this as a great opportunity to take even more time for myself and my loved ones and things I want to do. Isn't that great? And walking on snow, I tell you, this is a great exercise. Wow, like, I mean, today is the coldest of the autumn day. It's uh, minus seven currently, but I don't even wear gloves. That's how hot I am walking in the snow. It's a bit, takes a bit of effort, isn't it? So yeah, I'm very happy to keep exercising because I am going to stop eating those pastries, man. I tell you. Come on then. Let's have a look what's happening at the lake, okay? Wow, I can't believe it. Like yesterday, last night, remember? There was only a tiny patch of uh, ice. But now it looks like, wow, see? Ice. Guys, baby. Oh my God, it's gonna be all covered with ice in no time.
Snoopy nou, nou. Snoopy nou, kom. Snoopy. Finally, that time had come. I was about to take my van to the garage. Luckily, my neighbor offered to help, as he has at least 30 years driving experience in various driving conditions. He told me that in old days there wasn't such thing as special winter tires, and so the world didn't stop when snow arrived. People still had to drive to work. I felt pretty confident handing the driving over to him. Потихоньку. А там есть немножко снег. Ничего, ничего. Главное нам вписаться в эти все габариты. Так сразу я не могу привыкнуть к твоим габаритам широким. О, хорошо, хорошо. Надо вентилятор добавлять, иначе мы тут запотеем. Он не дует сильнее? Здесь будет на... We had a few hiccups, but we managed to get to the town, where the situation wasn't any better. But in the end, we got there, and finally I could get the tires changed. What a relief! Now we again can get out and about whenever we please. So yeah, a success! Celebrated with a long walk in a proper winter wonderland. <laughs> got the shopping done all sorts and i've got my new spade wow the shovel look how awesome that is and it's red oh my god <laughs> how lucky i was with the color isn't it it's not my favorite but well i'm starting to like it then i've got bread i've got tea i've got nutella i've got cakes it is a bit chilly in this kitchen this morning but i was contemplating shall i cook on this one or this one opted for this one in the end because i don't think so and this time i am toasting the oats with the sugar so that it can go with my pudding and the pudding will be mainly from rice sticky rice it needs to be sticky one see the sticky one like that and then add it to the cream and uh, to the whipping cream with the sugar Ah, my freezer, guys, my freezer outside, see, outside is my freezer because, as you know, I've got the tiny fridge and uh, no freezer. And so I am keeping my french fries in there, some squid rings, some onion rings to cook in the oven when I feel a bit lazy, like not making too much effort cooking yeah so that's my freezer and in my freezer currently is minus minus five degrees in my freezer not bad isn't it okay let's take this one inside the crispy oats easy 
to hold the pen and the phone in the same hand, but that's possible, see? It's doable. It is very doable. Yeah, and so the cream is going. I just need to whip it. Yeah, and the reason why I toast the doubts outside, uh, because it produces so much smoke. So the house will be full with the smoke, which I don't like. And then the smoke stays around, same as if you uh, fried fish on pan. The smell would stay around for a couple of days, really. So yeah, so crispy. Mm. Mm, and the toasted oat will give that amazing flavor to the rice and cream, to that pudding. You wouldn't even think how much difference toasted oats make taste-wise. Yeah, so guys, maybe you try, see how it goes, add to your puddings. But it needs to stand by for um, 12 hours, I think, or at least for 12 hours, at least. Preferably a whole day. Not much going on out there. Still very, very snowy. Okay, now I need to whip this cream. Okay, so once the cream is whipped, then add the rice and add the oats and just mix everything. Well, really kind of like fold everything in. It's kind of like Ethan mess. If you know English puddings, guys. One of them is Ethan mess, so that would be with the whipping cream, meringue, and some fruit. Whereas this one is kind of the same thing, uh, but with rice and uh, toasted oats. And so basically, fold it in nicely. Once that's done, just transfer it to the dish where you're gonna be refrigerating it. And the last stage is to sprinkle the remaining oats, which are very crispy, onto the pudding, on the top of the pudding, so that it gives that texture, like the pudding, or the rest of the pudding is gonna be nice and soft. But then this crispy top is gonna remain crispy. It's gonna give that nice texture to the pudding. Well, and basically this is it. Then you refrigerate it for at least 12 hours, preferably 24 hours, so that the oats, toasted oats can release that flavor within all the pudding. And it's gonna taste amazing, really. Such a simple pudding, but so, so delicious. The kitchen looks all right. All we need, I suppose, is a drink, a snack, and perhaps a disco light. And now all we need is some friends and music, of course. Finally, I think the time is right uh, for all the plastic and all the duvet covers covering the door, the bedroom door, uh, to be taken away. The moment of truth. Welcome in.
take it off nicely. Might be useful. Nails. Oh my god. Wow. Layers and layers of layers. And then when this one is off, I might be able to see a better picture of what exactly I want to do. Oh my god, I can see my bed. What is this? Well, maybe I can take these off. I don't like them. Maybe I take these off. Wow. Maybe I should leave them on actually. This is my bedroom. Ta da! In and out. In and out. In and out. Oh my god. How many months I had this door closed and I had to go round and round and round. These curtains, I just made them up. I got this one from charity shop. I absolutely loved it. Nice, lightweight, gray, but of course they only had one. And I found this one, which really goes well with a red scheme in the kitchen. And so it has really nice reflection in this uh, mirror as well. Nice and red, bright, brightens up this room because this is uh, facing north and uh, it's always dark. Okay, the next stage is to make a door and to make a wall there i can do that now because he doesn't need access to the wood burner anymore from this side so i can make a wall and then the bedroom will be ready sounds easy isn't it? but just look what i need to do just look let me show you see see all the gaps and things and then there was this old sliding door in between but it's not sliding it's not sliding anymore it's stuck and then i need to make hinges for the door and then i need to make a door because this is not a standard size door so i can't buy it uh, so i need to make door myself which is great which is always great a new project isn't it okay now let's tidy this mess as i normally wouldn't put heating in the kitchen um so i put this one over the door so that heat keeps in in the bedroom i can just open and in i am in my bedroom Look how lovely, I've got a little door. And then I can get up, straight to the kitchen, make my coffee and good morning. And yeah, actually this mirror is a lightweight. And so I had it in my van as a full length mirror, which I will still use in the van when I go traveling. But for now, I decided that instead of me putting mirror up there, I want to put it on a door once the door will be in. And can you just imagine how amazing that will look? Full length mirror on a door. 